Virpazar means whirlpool because it's famous in winter times, there are a lot of whirlpools around it. My name is Nemanja Jurišić, I'm 30 years old and I live in the Tsarnica region in Virpazar. This area, this is one of the old parts of Montenegro. Virpazar is an area with little town and 23 villages around the town. Two thousand square meters of, of the land, fifty stable of grapes, twenty stable of apricot, some thirty of the quince. We have some ten stable of the cherries, some ten stable of the tangerina, so a lot of different fruits. My great-grandfather bought this land 120 years ago and he put the first wine grapes and wine yards into the property. Three thousand liters, approximately, our whole year production. Very small, but it's all ecological. We do not use any pesticides, so everything is bio and very natural. Because of the peaches in our property, we have very nice fruity flavor into the wine. Because of the bees, everything is mixed and everything is natural. This one is the oldest at our property. We called it anaconda because it's really thick and long. It's 90 years old. My great-grandfather bring it from Constantinople and put it there. It's very nice and juicy and even today gives a lot of fruit. Every day we have from 20 to 30 people daily on wine tasting and 20 people on accommodation. Ovo je prađed, počeo je proizvodnju vina. Svi pravimo vino, od prađeda, čeda i med. Sad smo nastavili unuk, sin i unuk. Posle vinove loze ima jabuka, kruška, šljiva, trešnja, višnja. Sve naši stari su to proizvedili. This is the heart of our whole property. Old machine that my great grandfather used it for mixing the grapes. It's still usable, and we, my grandfather does not allow any automatic machine for the grapes. Ovo je vino vranac. Tri sorte su ovdje grožje. Vranac, katošistična, tri sorte. Ekološki čisto vino. Nema ošte nikakve dodatka, nikakve hemije, ništa u njega nema, samo čisto. The stuff is boiled wood. We use it for mixing the grapes. A lot of tourists, they come here because they want to have privacy, tranquility. They ask us, can we do the harvest with you? It's like anti-stress program. So they come from the big cities, into the small villages just to relax for seven to ten days. Eco farming means a lot of work, but at the end it works it. You need to work hard for less quantity, but a good, more quality product. I hope that my son and my family keep this tradition and that the family name will stay here and make good wine even in 100 years from now.